It said you gotta remove this tag. For children. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> I looked at my head and one of the white things is like in my face and I was just like she, she, she. Yeah. At the sky. Run from your face. You got and you need to have more aggression no. in there. You do. No. Gotta say run from your face. And I'm Lexi. And we are the Dollar Dolls. Okay, so you guys, we are here to present to you our skins album review or whatever. It's not a reaction, but we already we already listened to it. Yeah. Um, there was a delay, okay? So we did record it, but you know, it wasn't we not gonna give you no boo-boo content, okay? It was kinda like eh, eh. So we didn't put it up, and I know y'all was asking like, so where is it? It's here now, okay? Yes. Sorry for the delay, I'm sorry! Sorry for the it's wait! Right but it's, it's, it's right, right here. here. So before we get into Skins, the album review, mm -hmm. what do y'all gotta do? So first, y'all gotta say, y'all gotta go and comment down below, say hi, Eddie! Oh, hi, Eddie! <laughs> that's, that's like, like my skin shirt? I need y'all to do. Anyway, I need to go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video because it's it's skins. Like, come on now, like thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the sub button. Hit the hit the and sub. And then next button. to that sub button, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the notification bell so that every time you post a video, you'll be the first one to know. You only and you know, you know, if you didn't already comment, hey Eddie, you can go ahead. Comment down below, tell us what you thought of the album, what your favorite song was, what your least favorite song was, how you feel about it. You know, just let us know, you know? Let us know, you know. And, you know, if you want to watch some ads, you know, Hopefully let us production. Know, you know, take it up a few notches, you know, go ahead and do that for us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to jump into this album review. Okay, so the first thing on skins is the introduction. Intro. So we gotta listen to the intro. Music makes me do intro. I don't know what that is. You tell me you're in search of release, huh? Feeling the need to inspire your soul. Maybe. Wanting to disappear <laughs> to a place you can feel outside of your skin. Possibly. Too much your skin. Well, you found one. Okay. So that was the introduction, and it was kind of weird because it's different from his other intros. It's you know? not him talking to Yeah, us. and it's weird because I'm so used to him giving me instructions on how to listen. You know, he's like, listen, this is how you're going to listen to the album. If you're this, if you're that, da da da, this is for you. And you know, he If you're this, if you're that, this is not for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, he walks us through it. So hearing that was kind of weird, and it's just like. Like, who this? Yeah, it's just like. Why? Wally? <laughs> it just make you wonder, like, why did he pick this as his intro? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was kind of, it was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lie, but you know that that was his intro. Okay, okay. So we gonna move into the first song on the album, and it's Guardian Angel. Okay, so yeah, that's Guardian Angel. And when I first like listened to that, like I was like tearing up real bad, real bad. Because it was just so touching. We starting that I was like, dang, we starting that album off like this. You just want to yes. catch me with a catch me with a yes. throat like that. And I was like, 
Uh, and then like it's so like ironic like I'm, I'm listening to other like album reviews and so then like it's just so ironic how this album was put together like like before his death but it's like relevant to what happened like his message at the like end he was preparing us yes like his message at like the end knew, like, to lose someone crazy. the next day but then when you think about it too i also thought this was like a jocelyn flores part two because he used the um the same he used it reverse jocelyn flores reverse in a song and then he was like talking about like you know I felt like he was talking about things about Jocelyn or whatever he was like referring to she and da 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 and you know I couldn't see a pain in your eyes and all that ever so so I'm like okay it could be well it probably is Jocelyn Flores part two however but, it's so relevant to yes him what happened so it's just like we're sitting there like <laughs> just catch us by the throat like that just <gasps> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like dang, man, come on. Cause it is permanently damaging. It's it like, is. dang, man. But you know, that's that. But you know, it was really emotional. Mm. Really I got emotional. a really bad chill. I have like this. This is just this side of my body. It's really, 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 really cold. <laughs> like this side is fine. This side goosebumps. Oh my goodness, no, because I could feel like a chill a wind on my nose on this side <laughs> that you said that the window open over there <laughs> hmm. okay. okay so next song <laughs> <laughs> next song is the train food okay oh look look at my case that lexi got me y'all see it yeah. yeah okay so train food Misery. Told myself to get better and look at what that was next to me. I was dressed for winter weather, but the summer rays were kissing me up. It was lost, and his hands were just enough for me. There was no question, I'm guessing he laughs at the sight of me. I was lost. You ever woke up on a train track? When I'm getting clothes on, that before you watch the train track. No response, so you scream on and scream on and scream on. You could have had a son on the door, and now what you so at this point in listening to the album you know they caught me by the throat with guardian angel and now i'm just sitting here like <laughs> just sitting here like the song made like it made me sad and it hurt yes. my feelings like i was it really hurt my feelings i'm just listening to that i'm like listening to guardian angel i'm like okay sad crying but i'm like all right this next song and i was vibing with it at first until it really started talking about stuff that kind of was like relevant when he's like you could have had a son and a daughter now what you finna do you finna die here like he's helpless like Death is now here. Time is finally up, and it's just like, huh? It's like what? Huh? Because <laughs> it's just so like realistic. Like, because he, he's not here, and so it's like it hurt my feelings. I'm like, you know, why are you talking about this? Why are you saying this? And it's just like, mm. and you know, people made the whole like you know theory. It was like, oh my gosh, it was train tracks in the back of the place where he died, and da da da. And it's just like. <laughs> Yes, I'm just like, like hey, listen, I'm gonna need y'all to stop because <laughs> for real, and it's just <sighs> like it's, it's like I mean, he, it's kind of like he knew it. he really was like just like so man, I'm gonna just prepare them for. He was like, I've come to terms with what's happening, so I'm going to prepare something to prepare them better for what is about to happen. And it's just crazy. Like, if y'all know, as y'all know, he went through a big change. And it's like he was preparing. Like in a song, he says, are you going down or up? You know? And it's like, he, he was preparing. Yeah, he, he was trying to do the best, do like, do what was best for him. Do the best thing he could possibly to, I guess, be right spiritually and whatnot. And it's just like, you could tell. Like, you could tell he was changing and stuff like that. And then him rapping about this stuff and it's coming out. And we're just like... Whoa, whoa, 
And y'all know how like he was in touch with his spiritual side and all that other stuff and with the universe. You know how he was. So it's just like he had to know something was up. Something was coming his way. Mm-hmm. Sadly, but he knew. Yeah. I feel like he knew. So you know that song kind of hurt my feelings and I was just sitting there like. But like lyrically and like from an artist like the standpoint. The stand- yeah, if you like, if you jump out your feelings, <laughs> then it's like it, it's real good. It's it is the lyricism in this song and the versatility. Is, and then the, the, the aggression, so the good. feeling you can feel all that you feel mm-hmm. dying on these train tracks. You know, you, you really feel you it. Feel that it it's make like, you feel, especially if you sit there with your earphones on and you're in there, it's like blasting it. It's just like <laughs> okay. The, the song is like it really makes you visualize everything too. Yes. I can see everything. I'm because like, you had the the train track yeah. sounds and all the stuff in the background, so it's like you could you felt like you was really there, like you could see everything happening. That's why it was hurting. That's why it was hurting my feelings so bad. I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, it's like that nice song, but I don't want to hear this. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, so that's train food. Now we must move on to whoa, mind and all. This is like a happy sad song. Keep playing the xylophone. Hello xylophone. Yeah. It's a little colorful one. Yeah. And like like it's like you playing seashells. If you just play a seashell, this is what it sound like. So like I was telling Lexi like in a first review that we did, you know, that we had to trash. Uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, this is Scheme's one of the Scheme's. Well, it is Scheme's favorite song with the album. Mm-hmm. And I was saying, I think he liked it because you know Scheme, he kind of like a like a jolly, happy like person. And I was saying that like it had like a uh, like a upbeat. I was saying it was upbeat, but she said she didn't really think that it was upbeat. Because I was, she was thinking about like pop, and I'm not saying mm-hmm. like it's bubblegum pop, but I'm yeah, saying it's I like think upbeat. I think like baby, baby. <laughs> Like I think like no. bubblegum pop upbeat. That's what I think when, when I, I say upbeat. upbeat I mean you know like I mean? I mean like anything. Like even though like a twerk song like that's like oh uh, just like upbeat. Okay, well let's li- well. <laughs> you know, if you go to like an older person, they ain't gonna say that song lit. They gonna like oh it's an upbeat too. We're not talking to old people, but we might be. Well, no, like it might be some hi. <laughs> Get with it. <laughs> get get with it or time. get lost. <laughs> hey, y'all don't talk to him like that. But yeah, I was saying that it was like upbeat. It was like, it's a happy song, but it's also like sad kind of. Because like, only because, you know, we're fans of John. You know, hearing him say like stuff like, told my mom I'm going to shine and stuff. And it's like, it's kind of like. It's like, it's emotional, and then it's like, oh, oh and it's just kind of like sad, but happy. So it's like, do, 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 do. so it's like, yeah. and I was like, oh, oh. And then I got the whoa beat drop, the oh. poo. Yeah. You know, you know, it's lit, emotional, but it's, it's lit. Like, because yeah, you lit. know, he, he kind of just like, he kind of just like grabbed us by the throat at the beginning, and then he was like, Okay. <laughs> slowly get you there. That's like when we was going over um, we was doing a review, I was talking about the colors and I was like this song what did I say this song was like blue. You said, yeah, you said, you said it was like bluish like, greenish. Yeah, like a sky blue green. Like I think when I think of this song I think of like the sky and the grass and skipping through a field well not him not him because you know he ain't skipping through no field <laughs> but you know that's what I see and I see whoa you know and then you got the other songs like the screamo songs it's like red so it's like I see this on the island it's like, you see it okay I can get it because the, the like the shells yeah like playing on yeah okay okay well I still see like a sky or something I see him on like a beach. beach 
like on an island or something, like chilling with his girl or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's all I was picturing. I was picturing then, like you know, a girl on a beach. Then we go into the, the sky. Blowing. It's like, you know, the windows. Yeah. Into the sky. And then we got those. You know. <laughs> I want to see grass in it. I want to see green. I see them having a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> they having a picnic. <laughs> Okay. The wind blowing, you know, what's her, what's her name? What's her name? Genesis. Oh, Genesis. Yeah, just Genesis, you know. Her long tresses just blowing in the wind. <laughs> you know, they're having a picnic. Whoa. 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 <laughs> See, we done made up a whole music video. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be lit, though. It's going to be real cute. We gonna have to look. It's gonna be the beach too, and then you know we are gonna. Who wanna animate our ideas? Into like, the sky and then go, yeah, and yeah, then the picnic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna show you the baby. <gasps> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to animate that for us? <laughs> we can do that, and we gotta get Cleo to see it, and Cleo's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, I love this idea." Yeah. I'm like, "Oh, I know. Come on, come. We don't need no money from it either. Like, you know, oh. just the one the job. It's so know? cute." Yeah. Just trying to bring our ideas tonight. You know yeah, that would be cute. I mean, if somebody really want to do it out there, you know. So, Any of so. those people that entered the little contest, I'm like, mm -hmm. Hit us up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ain't got nothing for you to win, but. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope that we all doing this out the kindness of our hearts. Yes. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, we don't expect nothing either, so you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the next song we got is Bad. Everybody knows Bad. Everybody loves Bad. So let's look at Bad. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. bad and when i first heard bad like when he was still alive and he was um previewing it to us i didn't really care for it i was just like okay and then like even when he was still alive people were looping it but then after he passed people were like loop, really loop, looping loop, it loop, loop, loop. and then they were playing it on like the which is like the tiktok apps and mm. all that over and over again oh my gosh yes and so it's kind of like we we done heard the song already. And so when it dropped, it was basically like a chorus we not a chorus a verse that we didn't hear, and then you know, so it's kind of like we heard it already. So I wasn't really too shocked when it dropped. Mm -hmm. And then like I said, I didn't really care for it or anything. So. It's a good song, but it's it's I we like, just, we we heard it. <laughs> I still listen to it. Like I yeah. put it on my playlist. I won't skip it, but you know it's like okay, it's bad. Okay. It's bad. Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Next song is staring at the sky. I was staring at the sky. Fork pointed at my heart. I was staring at the sky What was like a I was staring at the sky Singing toxic lullabies I was staring at the sky that's a lit song. Okay. Like yeah, I really like that song. It's not even much to say about it. It's just really lit. It's really, you know, for this it's song, job. For this video, I see like, I see like he like just like standing in like this field somewhere. He just out in the field and it's dark outside, you know. He's mm -hmm. standing, he's not laying, he's standing up and like screaming at the yeah. sky. And then when the when the drum part go on, it's like there's this effect that come, you know, like the effect. Mm -hmm. And then they go, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. And I see him. And I can I can see him with like the the brace like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With them back like that. He just 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that song. It's mm -hmm. really lit. Next song we have is One Minute featuring Kanye West. Oh, mm -hmm. and, and, because we left him out last time, and Travis Barker on the freaking drums. Mm -hmm. man. Matt, have y'all seen his cover to the Sip and Tea in your hood? He was. Oh, I never <laughs> knew that I needed a drum cover to Sip and Tea in your hood. But you did. I did. This is another, another talented drummer that I saw on YouTube too that did one. I'm just like, oh man, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. I feel like playing the drums is fun. Past the one man, and he just starts screaming. I like that part. I just really love the aggression and the screaming, and it's really not something that everybody will really? listen to. It's not, every, it's, not, it's not a lot. It's not something that everybody can do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> And actually sound nice doing it. <laughs> like I'm just like he just oh he's so diverse and stuff. The music that he made, it's oh it's just I like to tell people about him and they just they think that he's just like this one little dark rapper or whatever. Like, and he's he's wow. so he's versatile. Like he does so many things. And yeah, you might not like it, like because it's not if you don't like it, it's not That's for just you. Not your cup of tea. It's not for you, but it's just. Okay. Who you who you know doing that? Like what rapping you know about to do? You know you think him. you think Key Glock about to go and do that? You don't be like you want me to do what? Man, get out my face! Like, <laughs> man, you don't. Man, like, you think he about to do that? You think who 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 do that? Nobody. Nobody. Think if we want to go to Jay Z, like Jay Z, do this. He be like, Jay Z, he like, what is that? <laughs> I'm a rapper. <laughs> yep. And you see, X was an artist. He just, mm -hmm. he touched on everything. That song is just so hard. Like, I can, it's crazy. I can just listen to him scream. I'm like, that's hard. That's hard. Mm -hmm. It just sounds good. It sounds great. It's very good put together. Now, um, Kanye being on the song, it was, after I listened to it, like, a few more times, I actually, like, listened to his lyrics. And when he was saying some real stuff about, you know, Situations that X had to deal with, basically, you know, like the jury and all that. If they say you did it, then you did it, basically, and saying that people only know you for your worst mistakes and all that other stuff. So you know, he was spinning some real, but I just felt like he just went on and on and on. He kind of like took over the songs, yes. like gave X just the rest of it, he and it's like not his minute, song. Maybe he got his one minute. One minute. One minute. Oh, one minute and the next one's mine. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, he got his one minute <laughs> for real. But like, my thing is, it's like they did. They preached that this was gonna be what he left for us. He did not leave Kanye there for us. That was an add-on on their part. It was. So I'm just like. And then for him to be an add-on and be basically the, the whole song, song. that's kind of like, uh, they want to let Kanye do whatever Kanye wants. Yeah, and that's not fair. That's not his album. You do what you want with it. It's not his album. That's not fair. So it's just like, like I played the song for my mom, 
and she was like, where's X? Exactly. I was like, he's coming, he's coming. And then he came and she was like, oh, okay. Sounds more like Kanye song. Because it, it did. It's just like... Mm-hmm. And I know he he does do that sometimes. But I mean, he didn't do this. But you know what, like, um, F Love with Trippy. is like, Trippy basically had the whole song and then mm-hmm. he had his little part. But he did not pick Kanye for this song. Was annoying. I mean, may well, I, we don't know. Maybe he was like, "Yo, if I had anybody on it, on it, I would want Kanye." But I don't, I don't think that happened. I don't think he left notes like, "If I did, I don't put Kanye on it." I, like, I don't really. He said it was done. Yeah. So for Kanye to hop on it, I just felt like mm, that's not his. If you say so. <laughs> Okay, but the next song is Difference the Interlude. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I just wanna show you things. Difference. Oh, you're so good. I love that. I love that. Mm-hmm. All of his so interludes funny. are just so great. Like, I just love all of them. And oh my gosh, the last one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> his interludes I just is one so deep. <laughs> Can I be different? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my gosh, and then Love Yourself interlude. And then, you know, Dead Inside was good too. It's just all his interludes mm-hmm. sound real good. Mm-hmm. And I love how they're always raw. Like with every interview he did, he never touched on it. It's just like raw. It's like because he set his phone down or whatever he used to record. It was like recorded. it recorded. Is it? This is the interlude. Okay. It ain't no nothing. Just this is the interlude. Just laid it out for us. Period. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's just and it sounds you so just good. Feel the raw emotions and you it's just hear beautiful. it and it's just yes, yeah, this is so. Beautiful. And they're always like, I don't think this is like my favorite one on that album like but when i heard love yourself interlude that was like my favorite out of the whole like question mark album just like how come your interludes really make me like feel something like why is this join me in so much this is an <laughs> interlude okay yeah. it's not a song okay it's short as ever but it's just i heard it i'm just like so good wow like this one like, like i gotta keep listening to it. like <laughs> whoa. Oh, who you know can get finished screaming one minute and they go I just want to show you R&B tip oh my gosh he would have did like a little video I don't want how do you do people do videos for interludes no but I mean Unless they, you know, put the interlude in there with a song. Like, I have seen that before where they'll put, like, a little bit of interlude. Yeah, mix it. But, no. But, you know, he would make. Mm. Mm. I'll watch that video. <laughs> so, the next one is, <clears throat> I don't let go. Ooh. You go to seashells again. Getting <laughs> the seashells and the xylophones. Yes. Like we on a we on a uh, rocket ship. <laughs> we on a pirate ship. And you got the little the little flutey thingy. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Oh my gosh. He loved that little light, the little wind thing. <laughs> Airbender. <laughs> he already knew. He already knew that the world was gonna blow up. He's like, we need a whole bunch of whoa airbender sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that song. At first, when I listened to the song, I was like, okay, it's cool, but it wasn't my favorite. But now I really like it. <laughs> and I like that he had put like a song on there that like, uh, where he like, what's it called? It um, this plays like his little like. Yeah, like 
I love that when he does that and whatnot. So I'm glad that he put like a little playful song when he's doing like his little like character voices and whatnot. Like it's so cute. I'm glad he put that on there. He was like, I gotta, I gotta sprinkle one on there. But a little clash. Let me just. One like we love them. We like that. We like that. Okay, so I was glad. I was like, oh, job. Mm -hmm. So cute. So the last song. Last one. Last song. So what are you so afraid of? This was one of my faves. Yeah, I really like this one too. I, I cried to one. it last night. I love humming it. You know, just kind of almost doing like Twilight vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause it definitely felt like it'd be on a movie, especially how the song fades out. So yeah, y'all. <clears throat> that was hard. Uh, what are you so afraid of? Yes. And um, this song was like, isn't it really emotional? You know, to me. And I mean, it still is. You know, I I don't I cry to it a lot. But um, when I first heard it, you know, I was like, oh, this is pretty or whatever. But I didn't really pay it no mind because my thing was I wasn't trying to let the album finish. Cause I was like, yo, this is his last album. Like, I mean, they, there's. Like they got the members only coming out and whatnot soon and stuff, but this is his last album for what I know. I mean, there could possibly be another one that I, I heard. I, I don't know. And he said he was working on another one before he passed. So I don't know. Ooh. But at the time I was like, oh my god, this is his last album. And I didn't want the freaking album to finish. So I kept going back to my favorite, one of my favorites, you know, with interlude. What's up, interlude? Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. So I kept going back. And every time the song was about to finish, I was like, back. And like, wow, I was doing it. I was just texting and stuff. So I wasn't really listening. And then I was like, okay, I gotta let it finish. And I let the song play. And y'all, that was the worst cry of my life. <laughs> I was just sitting there crying, bawling. I'm like, oh, he sounds so beautiful. Then I was like, okay. Like, I was getting myself together. You know, I stopped crying. I was just listening. Then the song started fading out. And I got really, really sad. Like, I saw the, the bar, like, sliding to the end. And I just started crying again. I cried till the song went off. And it was sad. Because just, if you picture it. It's like, this is the end. And the way the song plays out is like, he's walking away. Like, he's just, just walking away with his little angel wings or whatever. And it's just, it was real sad for me. And I cried. But I really love this song because it's so, 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 so pretty. And it reminds me of uh, Far I Let Me Down Sleep To. But, uh, wait, no, before I close my eyes. Wait, yeah, right? It's before I close my eyes. That's the name of it. Before I lay me down to see. But he said before. But the title is before I close my eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of that song too. But I like this one way better. And yeah, it was a cute song. Like I mean, not cute, but like when I first heard it, I was just like, "Wow, you just gonna bleed me like that?" <laughs> so, so, so you just, so you just gonna read, read me? Like <laughs> so you just gonna read me like that? Like, uh, like I'm an open book? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you see, you see, this whole album I wanted to cry, and I was like, I had the thing 
the bowl. You know how you put the crown, you get the bowl in, in, in your throat, and you, you about to eat. I just, I cannot cry tears anymore, you guys. And I don't know why. I just can't. <laughs> it doesn't work. And it makes me kind of upset that I can't cry anymore. But I can't. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I liked it. Yeah, that was that was one of my favorites. Just because mm -hmm. I just felt like I just felt as though he was just really trying to read me, like, mm -hmm. and I was just like, at first I was I was offended. I was just like, hmm. so you just gone, and then I was like, you right? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> you right? You right? So like you say, like it has like a twilight vibe. Like I could mm -hmm. see it on a movie or not like mm -hmm. it's crazy like if they ever like ever chose to do like um a documentary or whatever on him or whatever i feel like that would be a nice ending song mm -hmm. and it just fades out and it has like a loving memory of exodus and y'all say a white off or whatever like yeah it's just, it's just it's a, it was a great closing okay he knew he yeah. knew what he was doing okay yeah. But yeah, overall, the album is great. If I had to rate it, 10 out of freaking 10. Like, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing lower than that, okay? A 10 out of freaking it's not 10. It's a bad song. Period. On this album. Period. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had some people come to me and tell you know, me, like. I don't think of that now. I just think of Kodak and his song. She say, period. I, I say, period. period. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't and all the dudes are like, yeah, I'm gonna start saying that to my shorty. No. Please. She don't. say period. I say period. Period. Who says period? Him. Kodak. D Son. D oh, Son or whatever it goes. Or what? What is it now? Bill. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, but yeah, y'all. It was great. 10 out of 10, period. All right. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people came to me and was like, you know, Everyone. I was expecting more raging from him, more raging X. But I mean, if you have been following X, like, you know, um, evolution, he still does that, but he kind of like ease away he from wants it. to do more so than that. That is, just, that is like the only thing that he does. Yeah, like he's Don't, not going to just latch onto that. Time. He is not a screamo. Rapper, rapper that's not screamo him. artist. He is a artist. And people caught they forget that because they look back at those old songs and they think because that's what blew him up. They think that's mm -hmm. all he did. The battery was exhausted, but you know, like I was saying, I was just saying, you know, he's a versatile artist. He's an artist. Okay, people looked at his like oldest stuff and was like, oh, he's screaming and stuff, so that's what he does. But if you actually look around in the archives, he was doing a lot of singing and stuff back then too. So don't get my man Jase twisted. Mm -hmm. That's all I gotta say. But you know. This is the end mm -hmm. of the Skins review. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share us, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, hit us up in the DMs if you want us to get to something fast urgently. Pass. Use your fast pass, and we'll try to get it done as soon as possible. I know a few of y'all have sent us stuff, and we did not get to it yet, but we will soon, okay? Just give us some time, and we'll do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, oh, check, check that out. Skins, ah, uh, gosh, already got done, you okay? Anyways, yeah, check that out. No, you you bad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Dominoes is out. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>